Okay, there's another form of division that we can use, and it's called synthetic division. Synthetic division is kind of particular, though, because it is only applicable when I'm dividing by a binomial in the form x minus r, or x minus c. But it's a binomial where the x variable, or the leading uh, coefficient, is 1. And, uh, and, where, and it's just a binomial. So it has to be of this form for us to be able to apply it. It's a quick way for us to do division because it really centers around uh, some easy concepts. So we have to have that set up here. I also only end up looking at the coefficients of my variables. And so we're going to get the setup going first. This bottom number is what's going to go on the outside, and I'm only interested in the 2, and I'm going to write it with the opposite sign. So it's always the opposite sign of what you see. So if this is a plus 2, then I write it as a minus 2. Now, the next part of the setup has to do with the coefficients of each of these terms that I have here in my, um, in my numerator. So I'm going to start here with x to the 7th. Notice that x to the 7th's coefficient is 1. Then I have x to the 5th. But hold up just one second, because what happened to x to the 6th? It's not in my uh, expression, so we want to put it here in my division by putting a 0 in front of what is the x to the 6th term. And it's kind of like a placeholder. So we're going to let this place be held by 0 x to the 6th. Then I have x to the 5th, which is a 1. Then I have x to the 4th. Where is it again? Right? x to the 4th would be 0 x to the 4th. So we're going to put that over here. 0 x to the 4th, then negative 10 x cubed. Then I have x squared's missing, so that gets a 0. x to the first is missing, that gets a 0. And then I have 12. Now, I think I picked the hardest, longest problem to show you, but I wanted to be able to illustrate the placeholders that we needed to have in order to do our long division. So let's just go back and check and make sure I didn't miss anything. This 1 should represent x to the 7th. So I have x to the 7th, x to the 6th, x to the 5th, the fourth, the third, the second, the first, and the constant. So I did it set up was right. Once you get the coefficients um, here, you have your number on the outside. We're going to start by bringing that one down, and now we're ready to do the division. So the synthetic divisions process is just multiply and then add. So I'm going to multiply negative 2 times 1, and I get a negative 2. And then I'm going to add straight down. 0 plus negative 2 is a negative 2. Start all over. We're going to multiply here. Negative 2 and negative 2 is a positive 4. And then we add straight down. 1 plus 4 is 5. So it's a little bit easier because all we're doing is multiplying. Negative 10, add straight down. Multiply, I get 20, add straight down. Multiply, I get negative 20, add straight down. Multiply, I get 40, add straight down. Multiply, I get negative 80, add straight down, and I end up with negative 68. Now, for this synthetic division, this last place down here is the remainder. So for this case, because R-E-M-A, I have to write it before I talk about it. In this case right here, if I don't end up with a 0, then I have a remainder. Now, how do I put all of this back together? Well, we did division. Okay, I'm going to refer you back over here. If I divide x to the 7th by just x, then I have reduced this whole entire polynomial by one power. So I'm going to start here when I put this back together. My first variable starts out to be 1x to the 6th. And then we just go down the line. This would be minus 2x to the 5th plus 5x to the 4th 
minus 10x cubed plus 10x squared minus 20x plus 40. Now what do I do with this? I write it as a fraction like you've done forever. So I put minus 68 over the polynomial that we were, or the, 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 the denominator that we were dividing with, right? So it would be x plus 2. So the remainder goes um, on top of what we were dividing with, right? The quotient, or not the quotient, but it goes with the, uh, with the divisor on the outside. So that right there, using synthetic division, which is really focusing on um, just the coefficients, turns into this polynomial right here. Now, it was kind of long because it was one of the longer types of division problems we had. Uh, we had to have the placeholders in here so that my division was able to work out, but uh, that's how you do synthetic division.